Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with today's GFG Purity Streak. So before starting ahead, uh, tomorrow I'll be on a flight journey, so uh, tomorrow's video would be a bit late, not coming at 6am. And yes, that was the only thing I needed to set extra. Okay, so today's question name is binary tree to CDL. CDL stands for circular doubly linked list, right? Okay. The task is to convert into CDL, CDLL in place. Now, in place means that you do not have to use any extra space, right? That is the ask of the question. But we will start from the all the uh, brute force or the naive approaches, whatever comes in the mind first. So, left and right pointers in the nodes are to be used as previous and next pointers. Okay, so double link list, the pointers are next and previous. We do not have to use, we do not have to make an extra as next and previous. Instead, we have to use these pointers, existing pointers as left and right. The order of the nodes in CDL must be same as the in order of the binary tree, the first node, okay, okay. So, this is our tree. Hai. We need to find the in order traversal, right? The in order traversal of this tree would be definitely 3, 1, and 2. And you need to make a CDLL according to the uh, given pre order, right? Okay, so let's test the test. What is actually happening here? So, maybe if you're a beginner and you do not understand what is a CDLL, CDLL again, it stands for circular doubly linked list. So, doubly linked list look like, so let's say you have a block here. So it has a next pointer and a previous pointer. Similarly, then a subsequent node will have next and a previous pointer to the another node. But circular here, in, it says that your your first and last pointer should also be attached in a circular manner, right? So like this would be coming here, and then again from here it is attached like this. So that is now it's now it is a circular doubly linked list, right? I hope, I hope we. Uh, I hope we are clear on this part now. Okay. So there are two methods. The first method is ignoring that we do not we ignoring that we do not have to use the space. I am taking that privilege of using the space here. So the time constant would be O of n and space constant would be O of n plus h for this method one. Or let's say the br the brute one or the naive one, whichever comes to my mind while uh, seeing the question. So what we will do is we will st store all the in order in an array or let's say array list because, because we do not know how many nodes are there in the particular tree. And we will traverse that particular list to make a CDLL, right? So after doing any node traversal, you will just have this particular nodes in your array list, right? And then let's say you'll have just a for loop, will going from i equals to zero to i less than n and i plus plus, right? We also need to have some extra pointers, the head and the previous as well, right? So first of all, we will we will appoint our current node. So the current node is forty, right? This is forty. And we will check, we will have a if condition that if head, that if head is now, that is the head itself is not appointed, then what we will do? This pointer now is named as current. We will also name this as head and we will also name this as previous, right? So things will get clear once we do, do the iteration for i equals to 1 that why we need this previous pointer, right? Again, what is the next node we have? So previously we have 40, which is standing for current, for head and previous. The next node we have is 20. And your current moves from 40 to 20, right? Now, which pointers I need to make? I want this pointer and I want this pointer, right? So, let's the forward pointer name it as right because we, we have to use the given pointers and not the new pointers, right? And let's name this as left, right? So, what would be if head equals equals to null, what we did? We actually did uh, current is equals to head is equals to previous, right? And if that's not the case, what are we doing? We are making current dot left is equals to previous, right? So I will write current dot left is equals to previous. And one more pointer we are making previous dot right is equals to current, right? That's the only thing we are doing here. And once you have your list completed, once you have your list completed, how your things will look like? It will look like 20, uh, it, it will look like 40, 20, 60, 10, and 30, right? All the nodes would be in the box, let's say, right? And everybody will have pointer like this, right? And your head would be pointing here and your previous would be pointing here, correct? Because whenever we are moving to the next pointer, we'll keep on updating our previous, like if the next node 60 comes here. Right? Then your current would be here and your previous would come here so that we can again make current dot left equals to previous and previous dot right equals to current. Okay. Okay. Now the last thing which I need is that this pointer should also be there. That previous 
dot what uh, previous should be pointing to the head and head should be pointing to this previous right so i'll just say previous a uh, head dot right is equals to previous and previous dot left equals to head right this would be the last thing i need to take care of after our for loop is completed correct now please uh, try to pause this video here try to code this solution this video code by yourself and then you can so, uh, see the exact code great so that's the method now let me give you a very quick code walkthrough so we have made some bunch of global variables that is the head previous and the narrow list we are defining the arrays inside the function we are calling in order function in order function in order function is nothing but we are first visiting the uh, uh, what to say the left the left subtree then we are processing the root node and then we are moving to the right right so in the processing we are just we just need to add that particular node in a array list now we have all the uh, nodes present in our array list in the in order traversal and then we are just iterating from i equals to 0 to i less than n we are storing the current node in a current pointer and then if head is equals to node that is the head itself is not appointed so we will do head equals to previous equals to currents as we have done in the pseudocode if that's not the case that is head, is head is already pointed keep on making the pointers right that is previous dot right this one mm. what we did previous dot right here it was previous dot right equals to current and current dot left is equals to previous so that's what we have done and at the end of the for loop and also we need to before moving to the next node we need to update our previous to current as well and at the end of the for loop we have to handle we have to make it a circular circular right so that's what we have done that head dot left this is nothing but head dot left would be pointing to previous and previous dot right would be pointing to head that's what we have done and that's it we are returning the head so let us compile and run and we shall hit the submit button so if i hit the submit button will this code get submitted let us see the constraint now we are moving uh, we are using a time constraint of the o of n and n is nothing but pointing to 10 power 3 right so n is nothing but pointing to 10 power 3 so that is definitely less than 10 power 8 and that is why our code will get successfully submitted even though there is a brute force or let's say the first approach that comes to mind let's just hit the submit button and wait for the results and then we can move to a method 2 method 2 would be a slight more optimization in terms of space complexity the time complexity would remain same okay so this code got submitted okay so what is the method 2 method 2 there will be a slight optimization in the space complexity that we were using we were using o of n this o of n was coming due to the array list and this o of h was coming to due to the recursive stack space right i hope you know why why the height of trees is a recursive stack space if you do not know must visit my in order traversal video you'll get a good understanding okay so method two method two let us come back to the method two here the tangle state be again o of n that we will be doing an in order traversal but instead of storing it in a separate list while we are traversing we will make sure to maintain a previous pointer and then we will just point it to the current node so what am i saying is that what we do in our uh, in order traversal first we have the left subtree then we have the root and then we have the right subtree right so this root will be your let's say the current pointer and this left subtree would be your previous pointer we'll make sure that right and then again we'll do the same things that we have done here that current dot left equals to previous and period dot right equals to current correct so i'll be saying again that uh, Mm, yes yes so the first thing would be uh, previous I'm just writing it in short now so previous dot right equals to current and then I'd be I'd be saying current dot left is equals to previous right this would be your first thing second thing again to make the circular w link so what the uh, the code will look like right so if your head is equals equals to null right then what you will say again you will say that current is equals to previous is equals to right uh, let's say a temp pointer t so what is your current tree look like so let us take the same example 10 20 40 60 and 30 so 10 20 and then we have 40 then we have 60 and then we have 30 right so doing an in order traversal what it will look like that first you will be at your 10 then you recursive call to the left child then you again recursive call to the left child and then you finally had null so in this case your head would be pointing to null and i want my 40 to be appointed as head as previous and as current as well right 
Okay. Okay. So what else? Mm. Or in the else case, what I need that when I visit, when I backtrack it. So when I backtrack to this node, let's say 20, right? So I want my 40 node to be appointed as previous. I want it to be appointed as previous, right? So that means uh, after doing the calling the in order, the recursive function for let's say current dot left, we'll have to do the pre-processing for root and then we have to recursively call for again for in order of uh, current dot uh, what to say right right and before calling to the right we need to appoint our root as previous node right so I'll just say previous is equals to current so we were traversing to all the nodes using the current pointer so that's why I've written previous equals to current now what else now in the else case it will go again this 20 would be your current node right this 20 would be your current node and this would be current would be shifted to 20 and this would be previous now I want previous dot right previous dot right equals 20 and current dot left equals to previous so here in this else case I will write that previous dot right is equals to current and current dot left is equals to previous right and then once this uh, recursion is ended right then you'll have your last node as which one 20 then you'll have 60 then you have 10 and then you have 30 right so this 30 again when you compute your list your previous will be pointed to here right so after in the main function in the main function once you are done with your in order thing your in order thing right you need to say that your previous you need to say that your previous dot right is equals to what head and head dot left is equals to what previous right so that would be your pseudo code for this method too and you can see that we have not used any additional space and we have just um, made this code in place in place this is the in place algorithm right in place means that we are not using any extra space within the same structure using the same pointers right we are making uh, we are writing the code to make things happen to make the things happen as asked in the question Okay, please pause this video here, here now and try to code this approach by yourself and then we can start with the uh, exact code. Okay, so that is the method 2 in Java. So we have some again global pointers that is head and previous as null. And we are calling the in order root. So what's happening in the in order root that if uh, while traversing we hit the null condition, right? And we will just say return from there and then we will just see we will we will recursively call for left right and this was the case we discussed that from 10 we go to 20 20 to 40 and 40 to null right so we return it from here current uh, right and then your current would be pointing to 40 current would be backtracked from here and then it would be pointing to 40 so since this was your first node that is your head must be pointing to null right so we have to handle that case if it is pointing to null we will just say head equals to previous equals to current in and this if will execute just once right and for all the rest of the cases this will happen we will make the two pointers right and before moving to the recursive call of the right subtree we have to update our current pointer with the previous right so that's what is happening and once this in order is called is completed all the things have been made so your current list will look like this that 40 is associated till 30 pointing like this 60 to 10 10 to 60 10 to 30 30 to 10 right but I, what extra we need we need that 30 should also be pointing to 40 and 40 should also point to 30 to make it a circular doubly linked list right so that's what is happening here at the last that head dot left equals to previous and previous dot right equals to head and at last we just return the head so that is it Let's just quickly compile this code and then we can hit the submit button. So again, what is the time and space complexity? We have not used any additional data structure here. So time complexity would be O of N and space complexity would be O of H. H is nothing but the height of the tree, height of the binary tree. Now why O of H is the recursive stack space? Again, you can visit my in order uh, code in the binary tree playlist to get a good understanding. Great. Let us switch back to the C++ code. So this is the same code as we have done in Java and explained in the pseudo code. Let's just hit the submit 
button for this code as well and do not worry you will get all the source code in my DSA repository I'll mention the link in the YouTube comments and I hope you have understand the solution all the solutions I have explained it here and if yes uh, do like sh uh, like share and subscribe and let us meet again tomorrow in the next GFG Purity Street till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys